Hello guys, today we are going to talk about Park's three-step test which is used to diagnose a paralyzed muscle in case of acquired hypo or hypertropia of the eye. To understand this, first let's have some basic understanding about the clinical action of muscles. The clinical action means uh, muscle acts best in which position. In abducted eye, right and left superior rectus muscle. Rectus muscles will best act on abducted eye, which means on abducted eye, superior rectus causes elevation and inferior rectus causes depression in abducted eye. And in adapted eye, oblique muscle will act the best, which means superior oblique causes depression in adducted eye and inferior oblique causes elevation in adapted eye. Uh, why is it so? Because suppose uh, this is our orbit and this is our muscle and this is our eyeball. So axis of eyeball is like this and axis of muscle is like this superior rectus suppose so when eyeball will be abducted so axis of muscle and eyeball will coincide and superior rectus will exert its action best so this is due to that reason that uh, recti act best in abducted eye and obliques act best in adducted eye okay so let's start with the concept of three step test so this is a question asked in AIMS exam. So a patient presents with left sided head tilt. So left sided head tilt which means it is a, a compensatory mechanism for intorsion or extorsion component of muscle. Okay. Which on straightening. Straightening means on correcting the head tilt or looking straight. Looking straight means on primary gaze which means when patient is asked to look straight and uh, concentrate on a uh, object in front of patient so on primary gaze there is right hypotropia right hypotropia means right eye is down which also means that left eye is up right hypotropia can mean both the things don't think about these two things only Think about this thing too, that it can also mean that left eye is up. Okay, so what are our differentials? Right eye is down. So there must be paralysis of elevators of right eye. What are elevators of right eye? Right superior rectus, right inferior oblique. Or left eye is up, which means paralysis of depressors of left eye, which means left inferior rectus, left superior oblique. So these are our four differentials and let's talk about the next step. So this was step one. On dextroversion means looking towards the right side, the hypotropia increases. So on dextroversion, dextroversion means there is abduction of right eye and adduction of left eye. Okay, abduction of right eye and adduction of left eye so which muscles act in abducted eye muscles which act in abducted eye are recti muscles and muscles which act on adducted eye are obliques so this right inferior oblique is out left inferior rectus is out mm, why so let me explain so suppose there is a right superior rectus paralysis so on abduction which muscles will act on right eye right uh, superior rectus and right uh, inferior rectus both will act in abducted eye inferior rectus causes depression of eye so this is paralyzed and if this is right inferior rectus is overacting then hypotropia will increase same way left superior oblique uh, which other muscle will act on uh, adducted eye left inferior oblique if this is paralyzed this is a elevator 
uh, which means that uh, left hypertropia increases which also means that right hypertropia increases okay so these are our two differentials now uh, right superior rectus right superior rectus and uh, right left superior oblique so these are our two differentials now let's go to first step three which is on right head tilt the hypotropia increases right head tilt means something like this okay sorry i'm poor with the figures right head tilt means something like this so to compensate to look straight our eye will compensate which means there will be intorsion of right eye right eye will intort there will be extorsion of left eye intorsion is caused by superior mnemonic is sin superior rectus and superior oblique will cause intorsion okay superior rectus superior oblique this will cause intorsion left eye extorsion is caused by inferior left inferior rectus left inferior oblique okay so now if there is intorsion what are the muscles which is there in our differential this is not there in differential this is not there this is not there so answer is right superior rectus now let me explain why is it so so uh, suppose there is paralysis of right superior rectus intorsion is caused by right superior rectus right superior oblique if right superior rectus is paralyzed then right superior oblique will overact to cause intorsion but at the same time right superior oblique is a depressor so there will be increased depression of right eye which means hypotropia increases so this is the concept of parks three step test i hope you like the video thank you for watching